In the south of Luzon Island, the Kalaka coal-fired power plant looms over an idyllic fishing village. In the shadow of the giant smokestacks, locals catch fish and grow sugarcane. But coal waste from the power station is damaging both the residents' health and the local environment. In the village of Baclaran, Domingo Batan has been suffering from severe asthma attacks for several years. He blames ash from the smokestacks for his deteriorating health. Local health workers report that nine people have already died from lung cancer. More than 80% of health cases are pollution-induced illnesses. These include coughs, weak lungs, tuberculosis, asthma and heart conditions. In 2001, Greenpeace carried out field tests to investigate the extent of the pollution. They found high levels of mercury, cadmium and lead in the ash from the power plant. We found alarming levels of mercury in the fly ash generated by the Kalaka power plant. Mercury can cause severe illness and environmental impacts. Communities living near coal-fired power plants are continually exposed to heavy metals and toxic chemicals. National Power Corporation insists the power plant complies with all environmental regulations under the Clean Air Act. They say their own investigation shows the coal ash is not the direct cause of the village's illnesses. When we tried to investigate, they, they were not in any way related to the operation of the plant. We still have to see somebody uh, who uh, incurred any sickness directly uh, because of uh, the operation of uh, a power plant. Farmers and fishermen are not convinced by the authorities' arguments. They say toxic waste from the power station continues to take a heavy toll on their livelihood. Sick people like Domingo have nowhere else to go, nor do they have the money to get proper medical treatment. He says poor people are desperately seeking assistance from the local government. Naparito, pagkami sa yung medical mission nila. E pag nabigyan ka ng limang pirasong gamot, ayos na, wala na. Kung balik ulit, sisantan ulit. Paano mangyayari sa amin? Hindi kami mamamatay nila dito. Yun ang aming hinayin sa gobyerno. Nakakatulad namin yung karamdaman na mabigyan kami ng kaunting mabigyan ng proteksyon nila para naman kami may paggamot ng mga karamdaman dito sa mga parang. Hila, ang masabi ko sa inyo. Hmm.